Hi, this is Susan. I am painting this evening. Thought I would uh, turn on the live broadcast so you could join me. I've already uh, kind of sketched out my basic shape here. That's the first pass is to, well the first pass is really to decide if you want it underpainting or not. And I decided I do not want an underpainting on this one, so I moved to pass number two, which is to uh, block in the basic shape. I kind of did a loose uh, shape here, and um, I, I might even adjust it some. The more I look at it, I think the body looks a little too small. Um, but she's a real slim dog. This is going to be a, a portrait of um, my foster. I have a little foster bull terrier right now. She's about eight months old and I thought I would go ahead and uh, do a little pet portrait of her. My palette tonight consists of cad yellow medium, cad red medium, ultramarine blue, black, white, and a little bit of um, burnt sienna. I can mix a burnt sienna but uh, just for convenience I go ahead and, and put that out on my palette. Now I've mixed up a real dark green um, using black and uh, yellow. In fact, I may add a little more yellow to lighten it up just a smidge, but I want a nice dark background here. I'm actually painting from a photograph I took this afternoon for the rescue. We'll be uh, the little foster's name is Junebug. And we're going to put her on pet binders if you're interested in adopting her. She's an eight-month-old bull terrier mixed female. She was owner surrender and uh, just sweet as she can be. She gets along really well with, with my fur babies. I'm going to go ahead and paint the edges of this while we're at it. Um, I don't always do that, uh, but um, whoever gets this might not want to frame it. They may want to just uh, add a wire back and hang that up. It's an 8 by 10 gallery wrap canvas. It can be uh, displayed on an easel. It doesn't have to be framed. And then I'm going to paint the ground plane a lot lighter. It's actually a, um, a bull terrier mix. Kind of got that uh, egg-shaped head. Not completely because she's a mix. There's a book out there called uh, Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting and uh, he says that your sky plane is your lightest plane. Next is your ground plane, and that's what I'm painting right now is my ground plane. So I want it nice and light. Next will be your slants, and then last will be your uprights, and that's what this is. It's kind of a hedge over at the side of my yard. You might even throw a little little red in there. I've got some roses growing on a on a uh, white picket fence that you really can't see from the, the photo that I'm using for reference. I always like to make the background really simple and if it's not simple then I need as the artist to use my ability to just make it simple. We don't want to detract from the main point or the the centerpiece of our painting which is in this case the dog. 
And this ground plane might be a little too yellowy, but it was in sunlight. And uh, anytime anything's in sunlight, I, I like to add a lot of yellow to brighten that up. Okay. I don't like straight lines, so we're going to kind of booger that up a little bit so we're, it blends. I'm using acrylic tonight, so there's no need for oils or um, medium or turp. I've just got a jar of water back here. You might hear me um, messing with it. And this little fur baby is called Brindled Blue. And there is kind of some blue in her. In fact, I would call it more of a, um, a phthalo or cerulean type blue. I didn't put any of that out, but I can mix that with a little yellow. Um, she's a lot gray as well. I like to make gray by mixing up red and blue to make purple. And then add a little yellow to it. Kind of makes it a um, grayish brown, a little white in there. I may have to get a smaller brush. I like to paint with bigger brushes. This one's kind of giving me fits though. It's a little too big. But I love impressionism and I love very loose impressionism and a big brush will really help you keep everything nice and, and loose.
Usually we like to put our darks in first. I don't always do that though. Sometimes I'll stay in the mid-tones and then work up and work back. Love to mix my own colors. And it doesn't really matter if the color is not exactly right. As long as the value's right, we're good. asking myself is that color darker lighter warmer cooler more chromatic more neutral They call this coat brindled blue and white. I may have made that white just a little too dark. Maybe light it up just a little bit. I love rescuing dogs. This is my third foster this summer. My first two were little um, Shih Tzus. And we found them homes. So they're, they're good to go. One of them came to visit me yesterday. I was teaching a class in Franklin at the Art Attic, and um, the uh, young lady who had adopted one of the Shih Tzus had borrowed a crate that she returned, and so I got to see little Millie yesterday. That was sweet. She's got a new family now, and new uh, fur siblings, and has a great life. Much better than when we found her in the dump. Not sure why people do that, but um, they do. Actually, this is still white under here, but it's kind of a greenish white, if you can imagine that. And, um, oops, that's too blue because it's kind of a greenish white under here, too. I usually reserve black uh, for the nostrils. Her nostrils are kind of 
around here and then cut through here. And there's one here. I may have gotten that too big. Sorry about that. Went a little crazy. Got a little tour of my studio there. grab a hot pink. You cannot mix a hot pink. It's considered a, another red basically. But she was wearing a um, pink bandana. you could take the best in entertainment with you now you can enjoy your favorite live tv channels plus xfinity on demand anytime on any device with the xfinity tv go app get started with xfinity tv from comcast for just 19.99 a month for a whole year call 1-800-XFINITY or visit xfinity.com today requires a moment to equal paperless billing offer ends 9 30 15 restrictions apply new digital economy tv customers only equipment taxes please include broadcast tv fee extra and subject to change after promo
first thing I do is to uh, make a decision about the underpainting. And in this case, we didn't do one. Then I block in my basic shapes, scrub in the basic color, work on uh, detail. I have um, this brush right here and then this little one right here. This is an 8x10. I don't usually like using brushes this small, but on an 8x10, if I had a much bigger brush, I wouldn't be able to get any anything done. So I've basically got all the um, colors scrubbed in the way I like it. I want to go back and look at my values and see where I've missed on the values. For instance, I think it's wider in here. Sometimes when you're adding sh um, shadow to white, it can be confused as the uh, other color on the dog. So I'm trying to figure out where is it the widest. 
under here, kind of. And I need to darken it. That's my baby. That is June bug to a T. One thing I might do is um, just let it sit here overnight and come back and look at it with fresh eyes tomorrow. Um, actually, I do see something I'd like to do. I had a better brush. I was out of town this weekend on a painting trip, and I have all my brushes packed. These are just kind of the ones I don't use very often. Oh, that's way too big. I'm trying to put a little dot in her eye. Now she looks like an alien puppy that's way too big.
Okay. Um, like I said, I might go back and put some roses in the background. There's a rose bush back there. But if I do that, I don't want it to take away from the dog. So it would have to be really subtle. And if I do that, it'll probably be in this hot pink so that I can have some um, continuity with the color around there. And again, there may be something glaring that I need to fix. And I just don't see it because I've been staring at it for 30 minutes now. But um, with fresh eyes tomorrow, I'll be able to spot anything that needs to be edited some. And I'll make my adjustments then, and then I'll, I'll sign it. If you enjoy watching demos, I'm going to try to do these uh, fairly often, maybe a few times a week. Um, you can follow me on Facebook or on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel that's uh, Susan Jones Painting. And uh, you can also look up my pet portraits on my website, SusanEJones.com. Thanks for joining me tonight.